Hello, my name is Drew Matat and I'm the director of the Peace Paper Project. The Peace Paper Project is an international organization of hand paper makers, art therapists, social activists, and fine artists. Uh, since 2011, when we established the Peace Paper Project, uh, we've set up over 40 different paper making studios around the world. Um, each one of these studios uses paper making, traditional Western style paper making, as a form of art therapy, social engagement, and fine art making. The way that the Peace Paper Project workshops are structured is kind of varied, but for the most part, if we're working with survivors of trauma or are conducting workshops in the form of art therapy, uh, we're working directly in different institutions like hospitals or shelters. Um, these workshops are done in direct collaboration with art therapists and mental health providers in these communities. This is very important, uh, and I cannot express this enough, how important this is to have the, the art therapists on board and working directly in, in collaboration for these workshops. And what happens is individuals bring in clothing that they have some kind of negative, often traumatic memory or experience in, um, and then they cut that material up into small pieces, and then we load it into our Hollander beater where it takes about 15 minutes to grind it into a paper pulp. And then they reform uh, that pulp into sheets of paper, which we do a lot of pulp printing. So that's stencil printing using pulp, um, using pr images that the, these uh, individuals provide themselves. And uh, then when the paper is dry, we do always do a book binding uh, workshop where people kind of like bind a book and then they create a journal and we begin the process of kind of creating a scrapbook. And these uh, journals or scrapbooks act as a way for these individuals to record their story and begin to kind of document their process of healing as they kind of move further on in their lives. One of the things that's really important uh, for us as Peace Paper Project facilitators is that we want the individuals to activate the paper um, in, in a way that's almost immediate. Um, the last thing we really want people to do is to take an article of clothing uh, that they had in their cl closet and go through kind of the very emotional processes of cutting it up and then making paper out of it and then, and then to take that blank sheets of paper and put it back in the closet. We don't want that. What we want people to do is we want them to create something that's unique and empowering and we want them to share uh, their sheets of paper with their friends and their family and their neighbors. And so to this end, uh, one of the techniques that we use at almost all of our Peace Paper Project workshops is, is a form of printing uh, that we call pulp printing. And so this is uh, stencil printing using a very finely beaten uh, cotton pulp uh, and we can actually spray the pulp through a very coarse uh, silk screen, right? And so our silk screen mesh is somewhere between 80 and 110 um, mesh count so that the pulp can actually pass through it. And so with this pulp printing technique, individuals can come to the workshop the first day they cut up their clothing, they make some blank sheets and they kind of get exposed to the studio and they get relaxed a little bit and understand some of the process. And then they give uh, the team, the facilitator uh, team, uh, some images and then after they go home, uh, we stay up late burning the silk screens. And then when they come in the second day, they're able to actually uh, take the silk screens and then print them directly onto the newly, freshly formed sheets of paper. And so in this way, they're activating the paper. So they're printing photographs that are their own photographs, their own images, um, or their own writings uh, onto paper that's made from their clothing. And so in this way, we like to think that they're creating, they're beginning the process of creating fine art, right? So they're really kind of getting excited. They're starting to layer pulp. Um, and this is one of the things that we really, really uh, uh, emphasize at every single workshop that we do. So that's a little bit about the Peace Paper Project, our mission, and some of the structure and ideas uh, behind uh, the workshops. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this, and, uh, and if you have any interest in contacting Peace Paper Project, whether to host a workshop or to get involved with the workshop, please don't hesitate to email me, uh, drew at peacepaperproject.org, um, and uh, we'd love to get you involved. Thank you very much for this opportunity.